Great to be here, honoring Oscar. Um, I do have a few thoughts that are uh, probably as random as eclectic as one of our conversations. <laughs> I, won't, I, won't, I won't go the rose route here. Um, but I was thinking of uh, Lionel Trillian's um, The Moral Obligation uh, of Being Intelligent, which I'm sure Oscar is, is, is familiar with. <laughs> and probably the, the Wick Stillman uh, movie, Metropolitan, where, where the person says, uh, I thought literature was dead. <laughs> And the response is, yeah, literature's dead, but not literary criticism. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently, uh, Lionel Trillian sort of, I would say, like Oscar, who is super sharp, clearly one of the more uh, smartest people I, I know, and is able to apply himself to so many things, it's not, as they say in the shirt world, his primary function. Uh, he's got an amazing intuition. Uh, Oscar has a way of, of going through different situations, different people, different classes, um, and he does that with fiction, and I think that's why his, his, his eye is so keen and so sharp to spot truth, um, and I think it's, it's what he traffics in. It's what he traffics in as a person, it's what he traffics in in terms of the music that he listens to. Um, I don't know anybody more truthful than uh, a devout uh, old San Diego Clipper fan. <laughs> as, a, as a Warrior fan, it's another place to be commiserate. Um, and one of the interesting things I think about Oscar is, I think a lot of people know he's raised in San Diego, very working class roots, um, but went to USC. Um, ooh, ooh. <laughs> very nice. <laughs> We encourage that behavior. <laughs> um, his dad was a janitor. I remember growing up, my best friend's father was a janitor, uh, which is a, which is is a, is, a, is a very noble getting, literally getting your mop out kind of workhorse job. And I think that's something that, that Oscar and I have always actually um, shared, which is that you grab your lunchbox and you go to work, whatever that job is, whatever that dignity is and you do your best all day long. Um, and you see where that goes. And part of that is back to being intelligent. In a world of ideas, you can't not be intelligent. You can't um, allow yourself. We had a conversation very similar to, I think, a lot of people's conversations today with Oscar. You start off on one spin where we're supposed to look at some art, and two hours later, after covering the Golden State Warriors, and Libya, and the state of fiction, and the state of America, uh, we finally get around to actually looking at the pictures themselves. Just kind of a quick nod, we don't really have all that much to say about the pictures. Uh, they're just sort of a spinner for, for camaraderie and commiseration. And I remember back when I was working on a second novel, uh, almost a decade ago, Oscar was nice enough to kind of encourage me to share a slice of that with the Chronicle. And I had the, the pleasure of having him be an editor of mine. Uh, aside from just the constant editing that you get by talking about ideas and talking about language and caring about it. And this is a room full of people who clearly care about language and words, but as much as, as, as small literary magazines may be thriving, I, 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 and I hope they are, and I, and I guess they are. <laughs> But it's not that common to have somebody like Oscar who you can do that with, who you can look across some Chinese food with and know that it's life or death, and know that he can meet you in those places, and he can intelligently and heartfelt disagree with you, and you can still continue the conversation to get to a place that you understand better about yourself, about him, and about probably new points of view that wouldn't have come up had you not had that conversation with Oscar. And, and the best thing I can say about that is you trust him. And, you know, the world of literature, going to a room by yourself to render something to bring forward, you have to have trust both in a reader and in an editor and in somebody to just meet you on the page. And when I write, Oscar is part of a very small audience. People say, oh, you write for yourself. And you do, but you write for your better self. 
and part of my better self includes a very small audience of very mostly dead people. Uh, <laughs> well, that audience includes Oscar, and to me, that's the, that's the, that's the kind of highest compliment I can say, other than he's a great guy to have a warrior game with, he's a great guy to have a beer with, uh, he's the kind of guy that you can trust with your children. And so, I mean, these are the highest honors you can, you can say to somebody. And so, maybe Obama coming in for Bush, but I can't think of a better time that a nicer person has taken over a position of, of a despicable <laughs> asshole. So, in with Oscar, wrong with Oscar, it's a general name, aren't you?